a sister sends me a nude pic. Like, disgusting, yeah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. <coughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, as you guys know, um, with my previous um, one that I did with the sister about non Muslim asking for my number, the one that we discussed with, we're just discussing with the sisters, and just have the sister's perspective, inshallah. I've got two sisters here. I want to ask them a question because this is something really important. Yeah, I want to tell you guys a message that I received from a sister, yeah, and she was basically saying, <coughs> she was saying, is it permissible to pierce my cheeks? Yeah, and I was thinking to myself, why is she asking that? Why do you want to pierce your cheeks? Yeah, and, uh, I know there's all kind of madness going on, like piercing your eyebrows and nose, whatever, um, but piercing your cheeks, and then. What, what asked her why, and she was like, oh, because, um, I think she was asking for a friend or herself, I don't know. She was like, because I want to have dimples. Yeah? Now, as females yourself, as sisters yourself, why does sisters, females in general, why do they go to such levels of, like, I need to look this way, and I need to be like this, and to the levels where you have to, you're going to pierce your cheeks so it looks like you have dimples. For what? So this was something I was really curious about, yeah? And I know there's this insecurity thing, but where do you think that stems from? Where does that come from of, I have to look this way and I need to, like, and, and it's a pattern that's changing. Like, this, this is a question that I wanted to ask for you, like, you guys. Where do you think it's coming from? She's a sister, yeah, I'm a Muslim sister. Yeah. Okay, so I really feel like maybe she might be influenced by what's around her, what she's surrounding herself with, what she's looking at, what she perceives as ideal beauty, mm. which might not be Correct, or okay. I but mean, where does this pressure? Where, where where do you think? If I said to you, give me three reasons why they feel like this. Why do sisters feel like they're ugly and they have to look a certain way and they need to dress a certain way? What are the three fa factors or two factors that you would say influence them? Both. Well, I would say the media. Pressure media. Media. Okay. Is one. Um, pressure from men. Men. Who watch things on the media mm. and fashion. Fashion. Would you agree with that? Or would you add anything? Um, she's probably on the Instagram Explorer page. Mm. Or she mm. doesn't have the right, I guess. Guidance? Yeah. Self confidence? Uh -huh. Okay. I think the Dean kind of, mm. kind of lets you know that, I mean, why. The reason why we can't do it is because we're changing the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and yeah. I mean the fact that he is perfect mm. and you know he creates all things in perfection. Yes. You should kind of have that idea that I'm fine just the way I am. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Okay. Now the reason why I did this is brothers and sisters who are watching, especially sisters as well, is because you see I, I find it like I really sometimes feel sad for sisters. Like if there's any feminist don't worry, I don't feel like you know, you need help in other way. I'm just trying to give an advice here, yeah? It's because if you think about it, yeah, I look, I look at the industry and like, for example, be it makeup, clothing, hair, whatever. It's sad because you are made to feel uglier and uglier and uglier and then there's this image that you need to have. And there's people that are actually getting implants, yeah, in parts of their body just to fit a certain, and well, I, it, to me, when you think about slavery, when, automatically when you think about slavery, people think about, you know, you're, you're in shackles, and you're in chains. It, well, I, I don't believe that slavery anymore. We have become slaves to a society where sisters are going to extreme levels. Like, for example, be it your eyebrows, your forehead, your nose, your ears, your lips. I swear to God, I saw one thing was going on where they were putting their lips into this bottle, yeah? Just to make them look big, yeah? And... Well, I, if, you, if that is not slavery, I don't know what slavery is. If that is not being slave to your desires and your society, well, I, I don't know what slavery is. And the reason I'm making this video, sisters, for, for you guys specifically, is to say that, look, you guys are beautiful in your own way. Allah has created you in your own way. Be happy. Because if you're doing it for society, well, I, on the day of judgment society, the, the society is not going to be there for you. If you're doing it for a man, and I genuinely believe, sisters, that yeah, men play a big role. And the reason I say this, and I'm going to blame men, and I do get attacked for this, but I have to be real. And I'm not doing this just to get brownies from sisters, yeah? Because men have become, not every man, but become so low that 
they are now forcing, because it's like a supply demand thing. I see it as like a supply demand thing, yeah? It's like a man has a, okay, I want, you know, so for example, a man, for example, has certain ex expectations, yeah? So he's looking, okay, I want her to look like this and I want her to be like that. So when this happens, now sisters are thinking, you know what, if I don't look like this and behave like this or talk and walk like this, nobody's going to want to marry me. And this is the same uh, thing that you have with certain sisters who don't want to wear the hijab or whatever it may be. Because it's come to a point, and this is, I'll, I'll even tell you, it's well, like, it's sad, like, I'm, I was just on my Snapchat coming here, and the only reason I'm sharing this is so you guys can benefit. A sister sends me a nude pic. Like, disgusting, yeah? Like, and it wasn't like a nude nude, yeah? But the reason I'm sharing this is, you know why? Because I said to that sister, I replied and said, like, Salam Kim sister, I said, like, I said, what did you get out of that? Okay, all right, you've sent it, okay. Um, I deleted it. But what did you get out of it? Like, what was it like, okay, what did you achieve? Like, is this what you're worth? Is this, do you think to yourself, okay, what can I put on the table? You don't trust your character, your behavior, your akhlaq, your iman. All you had to offer to another man was your body. And it really saddens me because it's like, you're a human being, you're a person. You're not an object, you're not a sexual object for a man that it's sad that you've come to a level where you're thinking, okay, how can I attract that guy? Okay, not with my intellect, with my character, the way I carry myself, with my iman, nothing. You stoop to a level where you say, you know what? I just have my body to offer. And that's really sad. And I want you sisters to know, like I said before, don't drop yourself to these levels. Wallahi, you guys are worth more than that. Be, a Mus be you Muslim or non-Muslim, do not shape your life around men believe me you can look like i don't know who's i don't know who they kim kardashian whatever you guys have in your head yeah i swear by allah your husband if you think okay if i look like this and behave like this my husband would not look at another man or will not cheat on me i swear by allah you can look however you like yeah okay put triangles on your forehead if you like i don't know whatever it is yeah the, wherever the fashion takes you please your lord because the moment you start to please Another man, it's like you're worshipping him. It's because you've become a slave to him now. Now you're thinking, I'm going to do everything I can. Yeah? And now you're thinking, matters are in your hand. The matters are in the hands of Allah. Please Allah. Make Allah first in your life. Then you will not care about how a man thinks of you, how you look. Now nobody's saying don't take care of yourself. You can take care of yourself. We all should take care of ourselves. But it's just like a simple message from me to you guys. With the sisters, I don't know if you guys want to add on anything as well. If, is there anything you want to add on? Yeah. I just want to say uh, sometimes I feel like why um, women do this, and I'm not saying sisters, just yeah. women in general, yeah. is it's hard work to um, strengthen your intellect and to work on your, you know, your mind and yeah. you know to challenge yourself mentally. Yeah. So because there's so much media influence with people like you know Kardashians, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. Um, they find it easier and thrilling to to try and attract people with their sexuality. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I just yeah. think it's laziness. No, it is, it is, and it's sad. Like I said before, like sisters, know your worth, know your value, and you know, worship and be a slave to the one who has created you, because that's true freedom. Once you become a slave to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all you're doing is you're breaking all these shackles, be it men, be it fashion, be it society, you're breaking them and saying, you know what, I'm here to please my Lord. I'm not here to please you, you know? And that's where you will get true freedom because now you don't care about no one. All you care about is my Lord. How does, am I, you know, with my characters and my behavior beautiful to my Lord? And then when you do that, wallahi, you will taste the beauty of true freedom and you will not feel like, okay, oh my gosh, do I look like this or can I go out like this? All that you'll be free from. And I hope, inshallah, this video has benefited you guys and I thank you sisters for taking part in it, inshallah. May Allah bless you guys. If there's any other topics that you would like me to discuss um, with the sister or the sisters, uh, do let me know, inshallah, uh, on the comment section below, and we can have a perspective uh, of sisters. Well, that's the main reason I'm doing this because a lot of time I don't want to be like we men talk about fe female issues, yeah. And sadly, we don't really have a good role model in the YouTube scene where we can refer sisters to. So, therefore, we've put this platform, even though there is, yeah, Masha, there is some sisters out there, alhamdulillah, coming. Uh, so, yeah, so I would say um, comment in the section below, inshallah, and we will bring you uh, more videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, give me one. Thanks, Ali. Subscribe. Woohoo!